here at the Dead Sea, and as you saw in my glasses, it's raining! This doesn't happen every day. It doesn't even happen every year. We're in the middle of the desert, one of the, one of the driest places in Israel, and we're enjoying the rain. It's wonderful, it's, it's exciting. You may not think that's very much, but it really is special because the, the Dead Sea, the uh, Dead Sea area, the uh, Judean Desert, is what's called a rain shadow desert. So just like a shadow occurs when something blocks the light, a rain shadow desert occurs when something blocks the rain. In this case, the mountains of Jerusalem, which are that way. So the clouds filled with water come in from the sea, they come east onto land, and start rising up and up and up over the mountains of Jerusalem. And as they rise up, they get cooler, and they, can hold, they can't hold as much water in them, so it rains all the way up towards Jerusalem, in the rainy season, in winter, obviously. And once the clouds get over the top of Jerusalem, about seven, eight hundred meters above sea level, they start dropping down towards the Dead Sea in the Judean Desert. Clouds go further down, and they expand, and it stops raining. And then it gets here to the lowest place at the Dead Sea. We're way below sea level here. The winds keep taking the clouds across to the other side of the valley. What you see over there, the mountains of Jordan. And the clouds climb up and over those mountains, and they're higher than the hills of Jerusalem. They cool down again, and whatever water remains in the clouds rains over there. So it's very rare to have rain here, right near the Dead Sea. So, as you can see, we're really excited about this. So, uh, yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> Here comes the rain again. We're on the plateau above the Dead Sea. That direction towards there is Jerusalem, Bethlehem, Hebron, above that, further way past the mountains. And here we go. There's the Dead Sea there. And the mountains of Moab across the way. Look how green the desert is. There's a whole bunch of different species here. As much as it may look just dry and a lot of nothing, if you look closely, there's quite a lot. Let's just count the species right here. There's this thistle here. There's one. There's another plant. Two. There's this grass. Three. There's a chrysanthemum. Four. Cat's claw. Five. This is number six. Let's see what else. There's this over here. I'm not sure what that is. 